So look, bro. Y'all been on me about this one for a long time, or ever since it dropped. But uh, we got a little Jungle Boy. The last interview I reacted to, bro. When I tell y'all, I done seen a lot and I've been through a lot. Little Jungle Boy is the most battle-tested food I done ran across to. I mean, ran across on the internet. I'm keeping it real. His stories is authentic. Um, and he's one of the ones that actually, he a survivor. And no other way to sum it up. We finna get straight into this video. Um, I know y'all already seen it, but guess what? Finna watch it again, bro. You know, you, so last time we talked, boy. you told me. I wasn't going back. Yeah, I wasn't going back. You're not going back. Yeah, that they shot me. Who? What? Bro got arrested me. Kicked the window out. Yeah, it's crazy. I kicked the window out. Got up out the car. <laughs> it was crazy. What, what was it for? Uh, well, originally, dumbass sister. The one you know. Hey, oh, really? Jungle Boy Some shit way. happened and police came. They surrounded the house. I jump off one roof to the next, leave my backpack. They try. They see the backpack. Don't see nobody up there. They leave. I go back to the apartment. What the fuck? Your sister call the police on you, bro. Your sister. And any kind of money, once you get locked up, that's when they regret it. Brother, I'm sorry. And as a brother, you're going to forgive your sister, man. It's... She called the police over emotional shit. I'm already knowing, squad. It was something emotional and she just called the police over. What was all that? My nephews and them like, uh, yeah, man. Uh, we love you, man. We sorry, man. We got this for shit. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Do y'all thing. I'm on the roof smoking. Next thing I know, the police coming up to the roof. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? I just jumped off the roof. Man, they like, yeah, man. Um, yeah, your name George Pollard? I'm like, yeah. They were like, yeah, uh, we looking for you. I said, for what? They said, uh, well, if that's your backpack? I said, yeah, we found two ghost guns in it. I said, nah, you bullshit. It's only the kits, bro. They kits. You can't, you can't charge me for that. They was bought before January 21st, so mm. you can't charge me. And, and they, they were like, that's not what we They law. said, uh, first they said robbery. Then they said arson. Then they said I stole firearms. Then they, it was all type of weird shit. Then they tried to get me for um, a voluntary manslaughter for security job I was working. They tried to book me. Like, it was bad, bro. It was bad. But I only got two years. I beat everything. I only got two years. They didn't have no evidence on nothing. They gave me... Uh, so, bro, went to jail again after the last interview. And please speak more upon this involuntary manslaughter at a security job because I know about the fool you killed, uh, you killed in your cell. You spoke up on that. We know about everything else you've been through, bro, but you got out, got a job at a security card, and somebody end up. This dude, bro. <laughs> I don't know who got their hand on his shoulder, what kind of angel he got, but they the truth. <laughs> they is. Um, for all that shit, the arson, the residential burglary, the firearms, the involuntary manslaughter, gave me two years with um, a Damn. double F for a prior. And the judge said, you ain't been in trouble, your parole officer didn't want to violate you, so this and that. But I went to LA for a little bit, the county jail downtown LA. How was that? That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard. Yeah, that was bad, man. I um, I had to fuck some shit up. That's worse than prison. Uh, yeah, the count. Well, yeah, prison fucked up right now, though. They mixing the main line with the PCs and everything and all that. So it's kind of bad right now, man. Pen is kind of bad, but we got tablets and stuff. Had to fuck some shit up in there, but... It wasn't it wasn't as bad as last time because it was only two years, but County Jail though and in LA. Tell somebody else it's only two years in jail, fool. That seemed like two lifetimes. I swear to God, bro, ten days in jail feel like ten years. I'm keeping it real. Bro was just so used to this shit. Like, hey yeah, you only gotta do two years. Only? Like what the fuck? What you mean? Only gotta do two years. That's one, two, that's twenty-four months. That's two years. That's twenty-four months. That's two years. So you mean when month one go by, I gotta go on month two? 
and then month seven, and then month nine, and then month 13, and then month 18. Like, we got 24 of these, bro. This is, that's way too much. All most of the sheriffs is gone, but some of them, some of them knew me. Like some, like the new people, they tried to test me because of my name, and I'm like, "Who the fuck are you, bro? I don't even know you. Get the fuck out my face!" So Mama's like, "What the fuck wrong with you?" He like, "Oh yeah, I know about you, man. You think you could just get off?" I'm like, "Bro, man, I ain't got time for this, bro. I'm I'm not trying to get in trouble, nigga. Day day, my." To think about jail when you got a name, it don't matter if you got a name for beating up. Mike Tyson, Holyfield, and Ali in the same night, bro. It's gonna always be a fool up in there. Oh, let's see if you can do me like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Think about having a name when you hit jail or prison, you gonna get tested. Niggas, we will try you. Unless you like that, that John Gotti type, and you got curtains on your cell and all that. But other than that, bro, they will try you. A jungle boy is a hood nigga from jungles, BPS jungles. Bro was famous for telling his wars, his life story. You go back to the county, we gonna try you, nigga. You best believe they heard that he done off some fool in his cell before. You think they care? Mm mm. See what you really about, jungle boy? Parole officer in Valley, I don't want no smoke, bro. I ain't coming back to jail. He like, you can't do shit, nigga. You got a gunshot. Man, I don't give a fuck about no gunshot wound, nigga. What the fuck? Niggas get shot all the time. The homegirl chaos got shot, what? 15 times and left the hospital the next day. So getting shot one time ain't shit. Nigga like, yeah. So I was like, all right, bro, whatever, man. I walked away. He grabbed me like, hey. So I like, bro, you touch me again, it's popping. He like, oh, oh nigga, oh, I'll run this shit, woo 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 man, woo I'm like, bro, I ain't trying to hear that, man. I'm just trying to go home, go to court, go home. Like, fuck this shit. I was trying to turn it down. He grabbed me, I took off on him, and then I got fucked up. <laughs> Demo it. Demo it. I got fucked up. You been out for how long? Huh? How long you been out? Um, I've been out since the 31st. Oh, so just, just a week or so? Yeah, just a week or so. I just got oh, boy, out. Just, just got out. I did two years. They gave me... All that, out of all that shit, they gave me two years. Bro, just now getting on, I didn't even know that. So look, I talked to uh, uh, Jungle Boy last week, right, on the phone. I'm like, bro, it's so hood. Let me tell you, not the conversation, but the first two minutes. Hit me on Instagram, I'm like, go, so what the whoop, whoop, gave me his number, I call him, right? Call him up, Jungle Boy, what up? He like, who this? Just go, oh yeah, what's up, chop it up, whoop, 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 right? And then about a minute to the conversation, oh snap, hey, let me put you on three-way with my baby mama, she on the other line. I'm like, all right, for sure. Did he really mean to say three-way? He clicked back over, she was, he was like, babe. She said, huh? All right, ghost, what's up, what you was saying? Like this, <laughs> all I was saying, what's at it? Like, you want your baby mama to be in the conversation, let's do it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, bro, it was a different type of hood to me. I swear to God. Years with, uh, it was two years period with a uh, double up for my prior. For for what? Having guns or what? Um, yeah, for a double up. So the you gotta my, walk a straight line now. Huh? You gotta walk a straight line now. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm doing. So I'm trying. I'm trying to do everything right. I was doing the shit right last time. I just had the the ghost guns on me and. The other shit, the other shit was bullshit. My parole officer didn't even want to violate me on that. He was like, I'm not violating him. He was like, well, he's a convicted felon, right? He said, yeah. He said he has ghost guns on him. He said, is it loaded? He said, no. And he said, is it put together? He said, no. He said, let me talk to him. He put the phone to my ear. He said, Paula, what the fuck you doing, man? I said, nothing, man. I'm, shit, I'm trying to get some dollars. I mean, shit, I can't sell dope. I ain't trying to go back to jail, gun. This shit, this shit, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. You feel me? I said, you buy it for four, five hundred, sell it for a band, shit, that's money. He like, nah, man. He like, look, it ain't put together this and that. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell you his name, dog. He like, I ain't gonna violate you, but this and that. Um, I got some detectives calling me some shit in Victorville. They saying that people saying you ain't checking in, so they need me to violate you, but I told them you just checked in. And I'm like, yeah, I just checked in with too. you the other day, bro. What the fuck? Like, can I can I go? He said, they want to hold you real quick, so give them about 25, 30 minutes. I said, all right, for sure. I asked the officer, I'm like, can I smoke, bro? He said, a cigarette? I said, nah, I got a piece of blunt in my pocket. Like, straight up, if I'm going to go to jail, I want to smoke. 
he started laughing, but the Mexican on officer, he was like, okay, for sure. And then he gave me my box of new push, took it out, smoke. I'm like, okay, fuck it, we legal. This thing ain't gonna say shit. Ain't no cameras around. Phone ring. I'm like, okay, what the fuck is this? He said, yeah, woo -de woo, okay, yeah. No, no, he just talking. He like, no, no, no. Yeah, he's right here, yeah. No, he's not wearing that, but yeah. Gun, he, he has kits, but no guns. And okay, yeah, no. Yeah, he has a knife. Yeah, no. What the fuck are they talking about, bro? Right. So I start choking and shit. I'm like, man, oh, mamas, man, what the fuck going on? And because the shit taking longer. And then he was like, all right, man, put that out. He hung up. He like, put it out. What the fuck for? He said, we got to hold you. I said, for what? He said, they're trying to get a warrant. I said, for what? For some ghost guns? This shit ain't illegal. Hey, you can buy this at a gun shop. What the is, fuck? Is it, is, it, is it your reputation that is causing the problem? Or yes, is it sir. Yeah, because that's what was yes, causing sir. the problem in the pen, too, though. Like, in the pen, but the pen this time was cool, though. Like, it's bullshit. Like, the program bullshit right now. We got tablets and shit. But the homies, like, as soon as I got in there, they was like, oh, blood was back. You back, nigga? You stupid as fuck. You just got out. I started laughing. I'm like, man, nah, I ain't here for long, bro. They're like, all right, big homie, you straight. He like, chill out, kick back, chill, fool. I'm in the cell. I ain't got to do shit. I had to catch a couple fades, but that's about it. Nigga, the homie, the little homies wasn't letting me, they wouldn't let me fight no more. They said you can't fight. Because the nigga, uh, he bust me in the head with some batteries and I had a seizure. So, he was like, you ain't doing no more fight. The homies was ready to stab shit up, all type of shit, walking around Damn. with things in their pocket when I was out. So, but in fucking the the prison, the the COs, they was they wasn't they wasn't as bad. And I was back at Salinas Valley too, where they shot me at and I got down with um Greenwald. Oh, so I was same, up there. Yeah, I was place. yeah, I went back to the same place. And I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't scared, but I'm like, fuck, bro. So when I went to committee, I'm like, I can't be here, bro. <laughs> I said, I can't be here, man. Like, come on, y'all know me, I can't be here. He said, Mr. Pollard, that CEO that shot you doesn't work here anymore. And the prison's not there. I said, man, I don't give a fuck. I can't be here, bro. Like, send me to a different prison. For real, for real. So I wait. They put me in the cage. I wait like five, ten minutes. And um, this was when I went to committee. Lieutenant Nolan, he come in. He like, man, Pollard, what the fuck? What? I'm here. I'm still here, bro. I said, yeah, but I can't be here, bro. Like, fuck mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Man, nigga say something to me. I'm getting more time. Like, I'm trying to go home, but I ain't got time for the shenanigans, like, for real, for real. Like, this shit is stupid. It's dumb. And he like, man, just chill, bro. Like, relax. You only got two years. All you got to do is a year left. But that's only valid, though, squad. If you go, if you get locked up, you go to jail, you go to prison. And why you there, one of the COs shoot you, bro. Actually shoot you. Then you get out. Living your life. You mess up, happen to go back to prison. It's a valid reason for you to complain. Look, I'm scared. I don't want to go back to that prison. They shot me before. His homies might still be there. The whole prison might have a vendetta against me. The dudes I got into it with be like, I, 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 that's valid. And if I recall, he smoked somebody in Salinas Valley, so they homies probably still walking around. You get what I'm saying? It's valid. That's a valid complaint to me, bro. All the prisons in California, they move him to Folsom or... Something like that. The new one or the old one. Yeah, because I did a year in the county jail. I did like to hatch it a month in L.A. Because at first, when I went to court, when I went to court for the gun, everything else, they DA reject the shit. They threw the shit out. And I went back to jail. I'm waiting to get released. I'm tripping. So I'm going to get back to uh, Salinas Valley. But in the county jail, they throw the shit out in L.A. And I'm, I'm like, okay, so I'm waiting to get released. And I'm tripping, so I'm like, man, why the fuck I'm not getting released? And Hum's like, yeah, yeah, blood up. Uh, when you get out, nigga, send, 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 send me some money, fool. Send me. All right, I got you, fool. Let me get my shit together. I got you. All right, man, we'll pick up the phone. I got you, bro. Chill. I got you. Next day, they wake up. You still here, nigga? I say, yeah, I'm tripping, bro. So, like, the third day, I go, I knock on the door. I'm like, hey, man, what the fuck going on? I'm supposed to be out. We ain't got the paperwork yet. Man, you better call somebody, bro. I'm a nut up. This just turned into two years. Yeah, yeah. And they said, uh, they said, 
that um, I had a 10 day flash now because I got locked up. So court, that's automatically 10 day flash. It's like uh, when you get locked up and you're on parole, they give you a 10 day flash. Then they might give you another 10 day flash. Then a 60 day, then a 180 day violation. Is it hard once, you, once you're in the system, Market. once you got the record? Yeah, because like, it's your name ring, bro. Like, I can't even go back to the hood. I got, they put me under, um, Gang. I got, um, domestic terrorists now. So, You're a domestic yeah. terrorist. Yeah, for game bag. They got me down as domestic terrorist. Does the video they know help how you to get you? you, bro. The video? Well, the video helped me. You got two million views. Yeah, two million. That was a lot. I was locked up. I didn't even know about, I knew about the video because I did it. But when I was, when I was in, uh, after I left LA and went to Victorville, to they jail down there, in, um, not Victorville, but Rancho, uh, What's this called? West Valley, Wayside, whatever. The, not Wayside, Wayside, not Wayside. Like West Valley. And um, we there, and while they booking me, I'm waiting. I'm in the cage. I see everybody leaving. What the fuck going on, bro? So a sheriff coming to me. He like, man, I know you, bro. Shit, nigga, I don't know you. I don't even be in Rancho Cucamonga, bro. You don't know me, nigga. I ain't never been to jail out here. Like, you don't know me. He said, yeah, you little junk. What? Nah, bro. <laughs> you don't know what me. That do. the, cops the cops don't watch. Yeah, they all yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? You don't know me, bro. You don't know me. Texas came in, so I'm waiting. First, I, I'm waiting. So uh, they're like, yeah, done. I'm like, man, it ain't nothing bad, man. But don't start that shit up here, bro. That's what he said. Don't start that shit. I said, man, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Like, man, it is what it is, though. Like, no, he like, what that mean? I said, it is what it is, though. You know, at the time, I got bigger now. But at the time, I was smaller. So I'm in that motherfucking tank. I'm like, I'm like fuck, I'm going to do some time. So I'm doing push-ups. Niggas walking past. He's like, oh, you ready for the shit, huh? I said, mm. I said, can I get a sack lunch, bro? For sure, little jungle boy. Niggas like, how many times you come to jail, bro? I said, I don't come to jail like that, bro. These niggas weird. They on some funny shit. I don't know how they know that. And they, they like, so they end up giving me my clothes and everybody else walking. They pull me to the side, put motherfucking shackles on my leg, leather waist chain, leather belt around my oh, waist. Oh, man. The, boom. What the fuck is this, blood? <laughs> and like, yeah, man, we don't want no issues, man. He's like, you, 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 you crazy, bro. Hey, just so y'all know, I'm going to put part two of this. I'm not going to do this whole interview. I'm going to put part two. It's over there on the DJ Ghost channel. This channel right here. You know what I'm saying? Or right there. It's one of these. DJ Ghost channel, part two of this, uh, this interview. A little jungle boy. You're the Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, mama, she like, you crazy, bro. Like, we all, I'm like, nah, nigga, I ain't crazy. I'm like, everybody got crazy in them, bro. I'm just, I'm just me, nigga. They already like, scared fuck? Me. And they yeah. like, they like, man, just chill, bro. It's only gonna be for a day. I said, nah, fuck that. I ain't about to be walking around here and somebody dope me, bro. Like, what the fuck? This shit don't sit right with me, man. So they were like, they were like, all right, man, well, you going to lock up. I said, lock up? He said, yeah, yeah man, Texas bro. to see you in the morning. I said, I ain't talking to no fucking detectives. What the fuck? Just send me to court. Well, if you could tell the detectives that, all right, fuck it. Let's go. We go, and they take the waist chains off outside the door. They get the little thing they're trying to do the belt. I said, bro, stop being all aggressive, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Like, what's, what's your issue? He said, oh, man, you've been shot up. You've been kidnapped. You can take this shit. I said, oh, so you yeah. I'm like, that video out already? So you must have watched it. How you know that? <laughs> Yeah, I seen it. I watch the guy all the time, man. He's real popular. He said, but you? He said, yeah, you something else, bro. <laughs> like, he like, you something else, bro. He like, we're going to keep these chains on until you get inside the door. I said, and mind you, they didn't see him do none of that. They just going off his word in interviews, bro. <clears throat> so they acting accordingly. <laughs> That's, it's kind of messed up. Not kind of messed up, but it is messed up because what if he was just lying the whole time? You know what I'm saying? But Jungle Boy now, see what that fame do. I didn't even like that, man. I'm just trying to go to c set, man. It's, it's protocol, though, man. It's already around the whole prison, bro. I said, man, it's bullshit. Oh, fuck. So they doing the shit. The cool dude leave. He was an asshole, but he was he was cool. He was laughing, crack, cracking joke. 
big ass white cornbread, no disrespect, but big ass cornbread white boy pull up like so Mark, he yank. I'm like, hey bro, don't be doing that. Like this shit hurt, nigga. Like it ain't no metal, but this shit tight, nigga. Chill out. You don't tell me what to do. This my job. Man, you got me fucked up, bro. I snatched this shit in. <laughs> like, you, like you making me mad now. I'm trying to be nice, bro. Like chill the fuck out, man. It ain't it ain't that serious. Stop yanking my. Sh- he yanked it, so I snatched it in, and he put his foot. So he yanked my shit out, scraped all my shit up. I'm like, nah, nah, fuck this. He was yanking. He said, man, if you don't stop, I'm going to tell you. I'm like, bitch ass nigga, I'll tase you. <laughs> so I reached out. <laughs> tase him with what, Jungle Boy? How you? <laughs> That's how you know niggas be bad. Like, bro, I'm going to tase you. Nigga, I will tase you. But where my taser? <laughs> like, you ain't even. <laughs> Like nigga, I'll take your taser and taser. This fool is stupid. He tried to grab my hand. I'm grabbing a nigga taser. We playing it back and forth. The shit, he yanking it. They come, snatch me, snatch me all the way. Bam! I'm slammed out the door. They trying to get the, the interview. Proceeds you, my nigga. Day uno, day one, bro. Already in the blender. You know what I'm saying? Telling the CEO, I will tase you. When you have no taser, is a different kind of deep. Hey, Juggle Boy. Next time we get on the phone, I'm gonna call you. I'm clowning your ass. You gotta, you gotta give me the backstory, cause Mark White, you'll be telling him everything. I mean, you be. <laughs> I know you be telling him everything, but you, nigga, I need what the bitches be. I need the tea. Yeah, let me get the tea, bro. Let me get the that that Lipton. That, so what's that, next that, that, I'm like, blood. I got your tail. I'm tail your bitch ass. How you gonna lock this shit? He like. Man, you know, just put the shit down. They came in. They got, uh. Um, Hold on. I'm snatching my, snatch me all the way. Bam. I'm slammed out the door. They trying to get the West Stage off. I'm like, blood, I got your taser. I'm going to taser your bitch ass. How you going to lock this shit? <laughs> he like, man, you know, just put. Bro, what? <laughs> I got your taser, bro. Tell me how to unlock it so I can tase you. This nigga is different, squad. <laughs> Hey, Potter, what was bro real name? JB, you tripping. You tripping. Shit down. They came in. They got, uh, in West Valley, they got these motherfucking, I don't know what they call, but they paintball guns and they shoot pepper balls, like pepper spray yeah. balls. So they came well, never, and they had I that bitch. I said, them. nigga, I, I shoot them. paintball guns all the time, bitch. I'm going to tell your bitch ass too, on mamas. So now you proceed to jungle for they paintball gun. So you get this nigga, bro. Jungle boy, stop, 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 bro. Please for us. You got it. <laughs> chill, chill. Okay, I'm going to victory to go kick it with the homie, bro. You got to chill. I, I, I already see. I already see. This is this is for me. One of them days. Uh, where we at? We we probably be at what the Gucci store or something? Yeah, we doing them like come out there. But anyway, yeah, let me get a size ten. We only have a ten and a half. Here comes Jungle Boy. Blood, what you? I'ma have to beat it. Hey, Jungle Boy, chill out. We are in pup. Chill out, bro. I'm I'm his handler from now on. Put it like that. Cause bro is off the Richter with every. He have zero chill. And would nut up on God if he have to. I'm not lying. And they sitting there beating my arms with the flashlight. I said, all right, but this shit hurt. I'm going to stop. <laughs> but um, before I could pull it in, the nigga shoot my hand with the pepper spray. I get a little bump. Bitch, all right, I got you, bro. I got you. So that night, I'm chilling like 7 in the morning. Them motherfuckers pop up. The detectives pop up. I'm like, what the fuck they wake me up for? Breakfast here? So the breakfast is <laughs> already inside, though. They sit, stuck their arm in and sat on the sink. So I go see the detectives. They put me in a room. I said, what the fuck these niggas want, man? They came in, and they said, Mr. Pollard. Or should I say Jungle Boy? I said, nigga, I don't know. You don't call me that. <laughs> like, oh, so we getting off on a bad start. I said, you started this shit, nigga. You coming here on some funny shit, bro. I don't know you. Call like, you, gang, you, po -po, man, you a pig. Like, you feel me? Like, some po I ain't gonna lie. They be like, cool. As, at uh, Sunny's Valley, I'm gonna get, skip over to that. Some of them be cool. Miss B, C, the tower cop, them fools was cool. But Miss Brewster and all them, fuck that bitch. That bitch. So, 
Them niggas shot me. I had seizures and shit. They shot me, so I was a little fucked up. I was falling out because they wasn't giving me my medication. They was playing with me. So Miss B, she'll come do her shit. She'll pull me out, help me out medically, all type of shit. But like there, man, them niggas was playing. Them niggas was so. It's some cool shit. like police and COs. They still pigs, but you feel me? But CO Miss Miss B. See the tower cop and motherfucking Sergeant Days, my building, my building staff, they cool. They with the shit, they cool. That that's probably some of the cool. And they yeah, C's Hispanic, Days is white. I don't know if Miss B, Miss B is white or Hispanic, but they cool. I used to call Miss B mobs. We didn't like nobody fucking with her. She was real laid back. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say what was doing in there, but when niggas was doing what they was doing, the COs that we had and the staff, they, they didn't trip as long as you didn't front them off or be on no bullshit or disrespect them. I ain't gonna say what they doing was doing. Face, I don't want, you, know you know, they be watching this shit too. But at the end of the day, bro, you do got some COs that come to work, I mean in prison. Um, they come there just like you go to your job. I'm gonna do my job and go home, bro. They don't care if you up there smoking a little weed, a little spice, you're getting high, as long as you don't do it in their face. Disrespect them, make it look like they ain't got y'all in check. Like the CEO have to look. This yo, this this you run this block, bro. Niggas ain't fighting. They ain't. You gotta show the respect to the CEO to make it look like he doing his job. If you're not doing that, then they not gonna let you do what you wanna do. You get what I'm saying? If you chill with the CEOs, bro, someone will come to work. Just like man, I'm just I'm just coming to go home. That's it, bro. I don't even wanna be here today. You know, do what y'all do. Don't disrespect me. Don't make me look bad. And y'all good. It's a lot of them come to work. But then, we also work. Where y'all work at? Walmart, Sears, Target, Wiener Sensu, McDonald's, Jack and Bob. You got that one fool that take his job too serious, bro. And them CEOs come to work like that. Just like that dude or that female you had at work. Like, bro, take his job way too serious. We work at Jack and the Box. Did he come to work with a suit on? He want to tell every little thing, bro. <laughs> Want to make sure all the receipts is right, make sure the drawers counted up, tell them if you take a minute past your break type. Yeah, them busters. You do got some of those. Yeah, they cool as fuck. They didn't, they didn't put too much on nothing. They was laid back. And uh, so it's some police that's cool, but that wayside detective said that, I'm like, man, the fuck? I don't even know you, bro. You a pig. Like, what the fuck? You want to start being funny? I could be funny. Oh, so we're taking it here. Yeah, uh, this charge, juvenile charge, this. You got a history of violence. You got a history of guns, this and that. I'm like, all right, bro. What so what do with, you dog? want? Oh, where exactly. were you? I was in Vegas, nigga. What you want, bro? I just like, what you want? What happened? He was at my house out here. Oh, right? so you was in Vegas? I said, yeah. You got any proof? Check my phone. They were like, okay. Uh, what proof do you have? I said, look, I ain't never been in Vegas before, bro. But uh, <laughs> New Orleans Arena, TGI Fridays. You see that receipt, bitch? But you thought they wanted to go check your facts, bro. <laughs> he said, for real? You know black people, when we lying, we'll make it for sure see like we like telling the truth. My nigga said, I've been to Vegas. You can check my phone. All right, let me see your phone. Man, I ain't never been to Vegas, but I've been to Fridays, dog. I got my receipt right here. <laughs> this thing get on my nerves. Go check my phone. They're like, okay. Uh, what proof do you have? I said, look, I ain't never been to Vegas before, bro, but... uh. <laughs> New Orleans Arena, TGI Fridays, you see that receipt, bitch? That's me. Oh, uh, Oh, that don't mean nothing. Somebody could have. All right, nigga, you, you weird, bro. You got, he said, you got an EBT card? I said, yeah. Nigga, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nigga from the streets. I got an EBT card, nigga. And he was like, uh, did you buy anything? I said, hell no. What the fuck would I buy some Nevada for? Like, nigga, I'm from Cali. You do that, they gonna cut this shit off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let them know the game. All right, Jungle Boy, not the first time, all right? Probably not even the second time, but let you get your EBT card, bro. And it's from California. A lot of people, so the wages, the food stamp wages and all that is different. So a lot of people from California, they go out there to get approved and come back home to Vegas. You know what I'm saying? But look, if you got an EBT card from California and you come out here to Vegas and you use it in a different state, this California, this EBT card's from California, and they monitor it, you know what I'm saying? So they're gonna be like, hey, 
Why for the last two months you been buying everything in Vegas? You live in Vegas. They don't want to hear no explanation. You can't explain nothing to them. They're going to cut your county off. Now you got to go back to the county building, county building and prove that you didn't move to Vegas and you still, you know what I'm saying? He not lying. They will cut you off. <laughs> he said, oh, now this, man, all right, bro, what you want? Oh, so this is now whoop the whoop and the uh, tall Hispanic detective came in after that. And he was like, oh, yeah, this is my partner. He was like, what's up, little jungle boy? He like, man, you viral. Say, who the fuck is you? Man, get me the fuck up out of here, bro. He said, <laughs> man, chill, man, you viral, off. man. He said, you've been up here for about a week now, and you you had 500,000 views. I said, what the fuck are you talking about? The nigga pulls out a tablet and show me. I said, damn, they put this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, so um, you want to um tell us what really happened? I said... Man, give me the fuck up out of here. <laughs> give me the fuck up out of here. He said, man, you ain't go. I said, all right, bro. I just laid my head on the table. He said, you just gonna lay it? I said, yeah, you ain't gonna give me the fuck up out of here, so fuck it. He like, all right, you just gonna sit here. Hour go by, them niggas come back in. I said, man, I need my medication, bro. They didn't give me my medication. So I woke up, I probably woke up like two hours later, but I was in the hospital. I had a seizure in the room. And um, I wake up in the hospital. And uh, the nurses, cause it's in Rancho Cucamonga, but they send you to um, Arrowhead. So a lot of nurses at Arrowhead know me because I didn't got shot in Rialto before and they know me and they didn't nurture the <laughs> niggas. So, hey, everybody like, oh, know this fool for trauma. We ain't seen you in a long time, sir. How you doing, sweetie? <laughs> I said, I'm good, I'm good. She said, oh, I'm sorry. You what you mean, how you doing? Y'all only see him when he gets shot. It's, are you okay again? Are you okay this time? <laughs> like. I'm happy to see you, but not under these circumstances. <laughs> that nigga, Mr. Pollard, bro. That, I don't, like I said, I don't know who's watching him, but he's supposed to walk this earth. I don't care what nobody say. He's supposed to be here. He's, bro, is supposed to be here for, like, however long he want to be here. I honestly don't feel like bro don't got to go or want to go until he want to go. For real. Going through the, I said, it's all good. I ain't tripping. And the sheriff's like, man, don't talk to him like that. Like, he, he's a he's a cop. I said, man, shut your bitch ass up. It's your fault I'm in here anyway. You didn't give me my medication, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, you want to get, man, get the fuck out of here. So, like, the first week I was in the hospital, it was all better. I got, because we, 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 well, I'm a convict. I keep on having a convict inmate. But in there, it is what it is. They change, they like, hey, if you maximum custody, they have you chained to the bed. So you got some reach, but your arms ain't free. And they didn't know me, and everybody had seen the video, so they thought I, I'm an asshole, but I'm a nice asshole. I'm gonna keep it like that. I just keep shit real, you feel me? The, the COs and them going, not the COs, the sheriffs, they going at it with me in there. I'm like, bro, get your bitch ass out of here, man. I'm like, I ain't got time for this shit. Send me back to the uh, county jail, bro. You can't go back into the doctor, say so. I got you, all right. So I started talking shit. Them niggas came in, put me in the chokehold in the bed, was pinning me to the bed and <laughs> all type of shit. The nurse came in, was like, what are you guys doing? I'm like, man, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I'm, I'm strapped down. They like, she's like, get off of him. She's like, no, 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 he has seizures, you can't do that. He, he has brain, brain, you can't. They were like, nah, she's like, no, you cut off the oxygen, it's gonna do something. I was talking shit while I'm talking shit. I have a seizure. So the CO, I went up to the sheriff. He thought I was trying to jump at him. Nigga smacked me in the head with his little what's name. So Damn. You see how I got these new things on my eye? This one, he crushed this one, and the nigga hit me again, and this one split open. So all this shit, like, I got a lot of cartilage up here now because you niggas. In the hospital, like, the first three trips to the hospital was bad. I didn't even notice that till now, bro. It was bro. cool. But, yeah, how detectives. Much, how much of your life have you spent in prison? 16 years. 16 years? A little bit of a little bit of juvenile hall, but prison ain't the same. This shit is for the dummies, man. This shit, this is some like, this shit watered down now. Man, like, like, niggas, man, this shit watered down, bro. Like, they make some PCs with GPs and... All type of shit, like you got a squad with PC, you don't know if a nigga owe you money, you don't know if this nigga gonna be funny. 
It's niggas over there just walking up to niggas because they high on spice, dope fiending niggas and shit. All type of shit, like, man, you gotta smack a nigga or some shit. This shit weird, bro. Lots of drugs. Yeah, shit, this is, I don't fuck with, I smoke weed, so I'ma keep it 100, but niggas in day, it's, it's crazy, cause when I got there, I seen a nigga stuck on a yard like this. I said, y'all better go call a man down. CO was like, nah, he just high on spice. I said, damn. This nigga just say that? Damn. He said he just high on spice. I said, they damn, know what's up. Uh, that's crazy. They know I'm walking up. across the yard, the homie's like, tell boy, blood was bracken. I'm like, what's bracken? I'm like, man, what the fuck up, nigga? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying to go to the cell, bro. They walking over. I'm like, man, I'm going like this, like, back up, blood, like, back up. They were like, I'm like, back up, bro. We made you a celebrity. Huh? We made you a celebrity. Yeah, but, like, the homies know me. The homies already oh, the homies. know me. Oh, yeah, right. the homies and the homies know me. Oh, you have friends there. But the, 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 <laughs> as, Oh, you have friends there. Mark, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Mark, you my guy, too. That was hilarious. Think of them homies. We gang banging. We ain't friends. Yeah, they friends, but it just. <laughs> oh, you have friends there. <laughs> you a celebrity. Huh? We made you a celebrity. Yeah, but like the homies know me. The homies already oh, the homies. know me. Yeah, oh, the right. homies and the homies know me. Oh, you have friends there. But the, 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 as in like actual people, the shit is crazy. Cause I got my, I didn't, I got people come up to me and be like, yeah, you little jungle boy. Like my girl, um, I smoked a blunt before I came from that. Um, I want to say Tia. 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 Yeah, Tia. She got in contact with you. Yeah. Like, she real cool Th people. That's how we connected. Yeah, I give a shout out to her. She real cool I people, I talked to man. your sister, but she, she had no luck. Getting... Yeah, my sister, man. I think she set me up. Man. She still love you, bro. Because she, she, she was on the phone with somebody, bro. I don't know who the fuck it was, but she was on the phone with somebody. But it is what it is, though. Like, now the only people I fuck with in my family is my big sister and my baby sister. They my, they my, they my rocks right now. Right now, shit fresh. I've been out since 31st. What are you gonna do now? Um, right now, I'm trying to, I just got my SSR, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't selling no dope. Mm -hmm. I ain't selling no guns. Mm -hmm. I ain't even touch no fucking gun. Mm -hmm. But I got my little side job. I be doing security and shit. I have been doing security the last couple days and I have been staying in a hotel room till I get my spot. But that shit eating up a nigga money, man. This shit, shit done got wicked out here. <laughs> like, and it's not even out here in LA. I'm talking about in Victorville, Victorville. like, man, there's That's so right, much money out that. there, but <laughs> I ain't trying to do nothing. I ain't trying to go back down that road, man. Like, You're gonna spend your whole life in prison. Yeah, like, yeah, I can't do that. So I gotta- I... Jungle Boy, for real, keep that word. Don't do it, bro. Just, just try to make that way. Prison, keep your word, my nigga. I'm the last person to tell you about prison. You need to be to the, you need to write a book. But you already know, just stay straight. I gotta bro. find a better route. So I I I had got applied for SSI and then um um right now I get food stamps and shit and I work security, but yeah, it's people that, that see me from the video and they see me working security and they see me in the black and they like this is what you been doing this whole time? I said, nah, I just got out. They said, when? I show them my ID, my jail ID. They said, what? I said, yeah, 31st. I show it to them. They're like, oh my God. They're like, are you okay? I said, nah, same shit, different story. <laughs> like, yeah. same shit. Go in, they fuck with me. I come out, it's cool. I ain't gonna lie, though. Like, West Valley was bad, but I'm just glad I, I wasn't in LA County Jail. Like, I got, I got in, while I was there, I got to, with the COs, well, with the sheriff's probably like, Two, maybe three altercations with him and motherfucking inmates. Like, the crazy part, the homies wouldn't let me squat. They wouldn't let me squat. Like, I had little homies from Hunters, all type of shit. Them niggas wouldn't let me fight. They wouldn't let me fight. They're like, gee, homie, you ain't fighting, nigga. Like, fuck that. <laughs> They're scared. They, yeah, huh? Nah, they didn't, they didn't want me to fight because seizures. Most of the homies that knew me from the streets or in jail, they know I've been shot in the head and they know I had seizures. So they, if I get hit wrong, that's why when I fight, my pops always told me, if you can't knock a nigga out in the first 30 seconds, bust on him. I'm like, period, because then it's going in bad. Ooh. If I can't take your head off real quick, yeah, it, it's going to go another route. So they tell me that, so. And you learned it from your dad? Huh? You learned it from your dad? Yeah, my dad, my dad, man, that's my boy, Big Mud Boom. And my pops, man, my, my, my father, that nigga's a bitch. But my, my pops, yeah, that's the, my role. This is the guy who was your like 
role model growing yeah, up. Yeah, big mud bone. That's my mom's husband. That's my yeah, that's my that's my road dog, man. He gone now, but he that's my road dog. My mom passed away while I was in jail. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, she passed away while I was in jail. Damn. And then that's I kept on um, for a minute my family wasn't talking to me at all. And uh I had uh while I was in the county jail, before I had met Espa, Espacito was one of the sergeants in the county jail. Before I met him, he was uh, he was cool, but everybody else said was asshole. So I was getting into it with him. I was spitting on him. People would say it's dumb, but like you can't do shit. Like like, as long as you give me what I got coming, I'm cool. You call me a bitch, all factors off, mm-hmm. all factors off. Period. Mm-hmm. Cause I ain't a bitch, bro. You might be my ass. But well, we both gonna be fucked up. You right. bigger than me? Okay, we gonna squat. But I guarantee we both gonna be fucked up. We gonna be fucked up. If I ain't got no, or no, yeah, we gonna be fucked up. You feel me? But I ain't the baddest nigga in the world. But it's just, how you say it? Oh, mama's man, like, shit. I was right. A lot of people say how I got into that shit. I don't, it's the way I was raised, man. Like, I don't know, like, that shit crazy. They was at COs in there. And I say that all the time, bro. Um, You got people, you can't help what family you born into, what area you was born in. You got people that grow up in Calabasas, they mom is a banker and they dad is the mayor. Of course, they like, they life, it's on the up and up. As soon as they born, they gonna have different amenities that come with their life all because of who their parents is. And it's vice versa when you born in the hood. Your mama from Hoover's and your daddy from Bounty Hunters. You get what I'm saying? And then they have you. What the fuck you think gonna happen to the little you? You're a product of your environment, bro. People be like, oh, that's a bad kid. I hate when they look at, oh, he's bad, he's bad. He's... Yeah, he might be bad, bro. I was bad. The 11 to 12 year old looking in the hood it might be bad, but I promise you, he's a product of his environment because if y'all put that same 11 or 12 year old and put him in the Calabasas as a baby, he would have grew up way different. It's just that the environment he in, so he grew up way different. You get what I'm saying? It, it's... You hear people all the time, in movies or in real life, I hear it in both. They be like, that baby was doomed from the jump. His mama's a murderer and her daddy a prostitute. It's, it is, it's product of your environment, man. You can't, if you was born into a family, bro, of wealth, education, proper grammar, money, like, Okay, you lucky. Don't down the people that's not because you didn't get to pick your family either. You got lucky, bro. Don't bash the unfortunate who was born and his mom's a crackhead and he's a crack baby. He got tubes in his body at the age of two days. You get what I'm saying? He didn't pick that route. Babies are born addicted to cocaine. It's not cool. My computer just went. Yeah, that's not cool, bro. And they was asking me, like, man, how you how you doing this at 10 and 12? And I said, bro, it's the streets. Like, it, you pick and choose. Like, went to school, did school, all that shit, graduated everything, all that. But nigga, nigga got tired of fucked up shit and all this other shit. You got to get money, man. But I can't do that no more. It's time to stop playing, like. I can't work because ain't nobody going to hire me. You're I'm a felon. felon. <laughs> you, you're you're going to get asked to do some interviews. Yeah, huh? You that, you're gonna, social media is going to yeah, somebody some wants, yeah. And that's another thing about the system, bro. Once you mess up in life and you become a felon, meaning you go to jail, they feel like you will mess up your whole life. So therefore, apartments won't rent to you because you're a felon. Jobs won't hire you because you're a felon. As a man, what do you do? 
not sit in the corner, fold up, starve, and die. You gonna make it happen some kind of way, bro. So if nobody don't wanna hire you, you have nowhere to live, what you gonna do? Illegal shit. I promise, he doing security now, mowing lawns, cutting, if secu life, I'm telling you, bro. You got kids, you got a family, you got a girl, and it, you gonna you gon get it by any means. Breaking in houses, robbing people. It's just a recipe for you to go back to jail once you already in the system. It is, squad. It's a lot of stuff with this the, the ju judicial system that needs to change, bro, and I don't see it happening. Not in my lifetime or y'all's, and not your kids, so you better put them up on game two. I swear to God. Yeah, my shit, my shit right now. You, you make sure you charge for it, though. Yeah, it's day day, yeah. Y'all, y'all, man, y'all want to interview me? Look me up, man. I'm on Facebook, George, um, George H. Pollard. Get your ass at Instagram, JB. What you mean, get up on Facebook? Nobody's on. I got one, but look, I'm 35 now. You know what I'm saying? You get. Little jungle, bro, I got you, bro. The interviews, and you finna get you a bag. You gonna get you a bag, bro. You will. You will. And then Instagram, Lil Jungle Boy, two wise, five honey. You feel me? All lowercase. But uh, you make sure you charge for it, though. Yeah, they got they if they want the interview, man, they got they they gonna have to cash out. Cause everybody they were like, man, how much you make off that? I didn't want to say. <laughs> I was like, man, why you asking me that? They said, man, you had two million views. I I'm know you got you. paid. I just started laughing. I said, it's at two what? Today's your payday. Ah, for sure, for sure. I like that. They you said go, you had two million. I like Mark, bro. I like Mark. I like Mark. I like Mark. Today's your payday, my boy. I like Mark. I like Mark. Because Mark know how much money. I'm not going to put it out there because I'm not, um... It feel like I'm blasting them and pocket watching. You can't, if you get on Google right now and see how much money 2 million views on YouTube make you. Trust me, I looked at it. That shit is off by a lot. Google's wrong. I know exactly how much 2 million views will make. Especially hours of interviews, bro. Mark did all right. And I like how he said today's your payday, my boy. I, 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 I like that. I like that. I like that. I couldn't, I couldn't find you for Yeah, I was, man, I was locked up. I was like, man, everybody was like, are you going to do a part two? I said, yeah, if I could get in contact with him. And uh, Tia, I walked in. She was like, man, you look familiar. Like, I, I said, yeah. So I started talking to everybody. I introduced myself. Because at the. Why? Why? Part two on this channel right here. Um. Yeah, till next time, squad. Y'all be cool. Y'all be careful. Y'all stay out the way, man. DJ Ghost 100.